you just look in Victoria, 700,000 tonnes of food go into landfill every year. I mean, that's the equivalent of 28,000 supermarkets full of food. If we can just take a small portion of the good quality food that surplus the businesses needs, then we can make sure nobody in our society goes without. Fair Share started 12 years ago and really it was just a handful of people who saw an opportunity of taking food that would otherwise be thrown out and turning it into meals for people who were going without. And over three shifts a day, we're able to cook 2,000 meals, which we can then give out to, um, well, last year we helped around 380 charities with free nutritious food. And more recently, they've seen the need for us to capture that surplus quality food and get it to schools where a relatively high number of kids come from disadvantaged backgrounds. Many households are struggling to stretch the budget far enough to afford three meals a day, seven days a week. Parents are going to work, skipping lunch, and kids are going to school without having had breakfast or there's no money for the tuck shop or food in the lunchbox. Just from my experience when I was teaching, I was teaching in the western suburbs, you'd often have children coming to school, haven't had breakfast, they don't bring lunch, you can't concentrate, you fade. So some of the schools do breakfast programs so the children can come to school a little bit earlier and they're provided with breakfast that they wouldn't have at home. Some of the schools give the children lunch so that they can see the rest of the day out and learn properly. Around 300,000 Victorians are going without food at some stage during the course of the year and many of those are kids. So if we can take that food, get it to the people who need it, and in the middle, cook healthy meals, then, you know, it's a win for everybody. It's like a lightning rod. It's just attracted so much goodwill from people who can give up their time and come and volunteer in the kitchen to lots of businesses, you know, from Lynn Fox servicing our vehicles to companies like Clemtech looking after our commercial kitchen equipment, groups like the Sisters of Charity helping out financially. So. As much as we're a community organisation, really these days we're a community of many people, small businesses and large corporations that said, I can help you in this way and we're so fortunate to be able to do what we can do with all of that terrific support. Each year we rescue more food, cook more meals and help more people who would otherwise go hungry.